What is up, brooks? Welcome to the video. I don't want to waste your time, so... Okay, first step, very important step, is to make the can sit for a good 12 to 24 hours untouched, unmoved, so that the paints can stay in the bottom because we'll be puncturing a hole in the top. Second step is to puncture a little hole in this area, ideally, but of course your call wherever you want to put the tiny hole. Make just a tiny hole enough first to uh, make a he sound for like the pressure to escape. Use whatever tool that you can to puncture it. My weapon of choice is the prony shears. And then whenever the he sound goes out, you gradually increase the size of the the punctured hole until it's big enough to for you to easily cut it open. The third step would be to to cut the topmost portion of the can open. So I'm using the pruning shears to cut through the whole can open and so that it can reveal or we can easily see what's inside. I'm not an expert so I don't know what's happening. Sorry. <laughs> but if you know, please comment down below. Then step four, we get a stick to steer. Just be careful, the bubbles or whatever you call it might go up. So stop the steer but at that time. Wait, then steer, just gently steer it so that the residue uh, that is sitting on the bottom can go with with the paint with the liquid whenever we put it transfer it on the separate container then last step would be just to squeeze squeeze just like this so you can like easily guide the paint out of the can through the container like so then just don't pour them all again steer for the remaining paints and that's it there you go this is not the only way to like decan or decanting or i don't know what people call this um, thing but this is my way of doing this by again this is not the only way to do this uh, this is just think what what works for me so hope any principles any like um, hack that you like you, you get from this you apply it to your workflow whatever so hope it works out for you and helps you so yeah hope this video helped you somehow and if ever you have like questions or tips and tricks that you know please comment down below it helps me and others as well um, so yeah that's all for me for this video see you in the next one stay safe bro